Uh oh, we got Mass Matt Walsh did an anti-trans video. Let's do it. That's a great one. Let's fucking do it. We're doing the Matt Walsh anti-trans video. From the Daily Wire, it was on. All right, let's find out. Outrageous! Father locked up for calling his own daughter she. This is a hill worth dying on. Matt Walsh discusses the outrageous case of a father who was thrown in jail for refusing to use male pronouns to refer to his own daughter. Mm. Mm. Let's find out. Wait a minute. Hold on, everybody. Before, before we watch, let's find out the truth of the story. Let's find out the truth before so we can know whether it's he's just lying through his teeth, whether he did any research, what actually happened. Let's see. Let's see. Is this happened? Let's find out if it's actually real. Oh, we've got all the YouTube ones. Hmm. A Canadian father. Breitbart News. Breitbart News. Christian headlines. <laughs> Zero. No Canadian has been arrested for misgendering someone. Hmm. You can't even find it. You can't even find the actual story. So where is the actual story? TP USA. Yeah, yeah. That would be cool. That would be cool, Adipasire. Or Adipasire. Hmm. Ah, Breitbart, that's all you can find. Oh, Epic Times. Huh. 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 Weird. Anybody have the, the the article, the actual information about this? Do we have the actual information about this? Good night, Dirty Commie Well. Thanks for coming by. Hmm. 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 Ah, this is from the National Post. Here we go. Wait, that's an old one. That's not correct. Uh-oh. 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 Let's find out. BC father arrested, held in jail for repeatedly violating court orders over child's gender transition therapy. He is alleged to have revealed information about his child's mental health, medical status, or treatments, and given information that could reveal the family's identity. Hmm. A, B a BC father who objects to his teenage child's gender transition therapy was arrested on Tuesday and put in jail until at least Friday for repeatedly speaking publicly about aspects of the case. The father, known as CD, has been charged with criminal contempt for allegedly violating court orders and is being held in custody until a bail hearing on Friday. The criminal charge is one that, if found guilty, could see him spend as much as five years behind bars. The case stems from CD's battle to prevent his child, AB, as the child is known, from receiving gender transition hormone therapy. But what began as a family court dispute has now wound up in crit criminal charges due to allegations that CD is persistent in violating court orders. The orders instruct him to not make public any information that would identify AB or the medical professionals involved, to call AB by the child's preferred name and gender pronoun, and to not share his opinions of the case publicly. The British Columbia Court of Appeal laid out the court order CD was su supposed to abide by in January 2020. Since then, the BC Prosecution Service alleges he has failed to do so on multiple occasions. In June, he gave an interview on a YouTube channel where he's alleged to have identified the healthcare providers, revealed information about AB's mental health, mental health, medical status or treatments, and gave out information that should reveal CD, AB, and the mother's identity. He was charged with contempt of court. This is why I say that fucking right-wingers don't give a shit about reality. They don't give a shit about facts. They just lie endlessly. So let's find out how far does Matt Walsh go to lie. Let's find out, shall we? 
By the way, Gina, this will be a segment. Tuesday, the father of a biological girl who believes she's a boy turned himself into a Canadian court. Fuck you. Already, out the door, I immediate, instantaneous transphobia. And was subsequently taken to jail after the Attorney General of British Columbia issued an arrest warrant for contempt after the father had insisted on referring to his daughter as his daughter and used the pronouns she and her. Wrong! Wrong! Liar! Literally motherfucking lying right out the gate, you disgusting grifter! Piece of motherfucking shit. I, I'm so fucking tired of these people. I am so motherfucking tired of these people. Literally lying out the gate. The dude has been violating court orders since June of 2020 at least. When he went on an interview and revealed private information about his fucking child. You piece of shit. This is the sort of thing, oh my God, oh my God. God forbid. Robert Hoogland from um, Surrey, British Columbia, has a 14-year-old daughter. In February 2019, the Supreme Court of British Columbia ordered also, that the girl receive- no, he has a son. Fuck you. Testosterone injections without obtaining parental consent. 14 years old. This is four years before this this child is considered an adult and guess what this child has a team of medical experts who are working with him and you have no fucking right to speak on this at all you fucking leech able to make adult decisions 14 certainly under the age of consent Sir, anywhere in the western world as far as i know Yeah, look, I'm just going to say he sure does have, he has a pedo beard. That's what I'll say. That's all I'll say. Weird fixation on the age of consent, pedo beard. Yeah, you know, it all lines up. Can't consent to, at 14, by the law, you can't consent to like anything. Dude, without, with what the fuck are you talking about? Matt Walsh, what the fuck are you talking about? What does the age of consent have to do with any of this? You fucking weirdo. Are you trying to fuck this kid? What the fuck is wrong with you? What does that have to do with anything, you fucking idiot? Without your parent involved. Except this. Except um, injecting foreign chemicals into your body. In what? It's test... Oh, okay, hold on. I, I can't lose it. I can't. I can't. I gotta hold it. To try to change your body in in profound and permanent ways. The the long lasting permanent side effects of which we, we don't even fully know yet. We don't know that yet because of people like you, Matt Walsh. Because people like you have resisted and put out propaganda that slows down progress, that stops m medical professionals from learning good things. And you do it with this veneer of concern trolling bullshit, and guess what? None of us are fucking buying it. No one is buying it. Actually, you know, judging by the numbers on this video, not even your own fucking fans are, bu are buying it. This video's been out for what? A fucking five days and less than a quarter of your audience has even watched it fucking wash up good night castrix um so it says canada ordered that the girl receive testosterone injections without obtaining parental consent the federalist notes that the court also declared that if either uh guess what that's not true because guess who did consent the fucking mother of the kid we already saw that in the article that wasn't lying of her parents referred to her using female pronouns or addressed her by her birth name, they would be considered guilty of family violence. Yes, because as it turns out, it appears there was a need in this case for, for uh, uh, privacy. Because as it turns out, people like you, parasites, leeches like yourself,
go out of your way and you blow up stories about trans kids and then their lives become hell because of people like you. You, Matt Walsh, are precisely the reason why the Canadian court ordered the dad to not talk about this shit. People like you. Canada has... Right, and then here's the, 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 the really funny thing. The really funny thing. Oh, do you not think that cis women's bodies don't produce fucking testosterone? Are you an idiot? Oh, wait. Obviously. Holy shit. Lost its mind completely. I mean, well, the entire Western world has, but Canada is a little... Dude, if the Western world has lost your mind and all you can and all that you can work up is a... <laughs> falling asleep in front of your fucking mic, dude... Maybe you need to inject some foreign chemicals to wake the fuck up. But there's a few train cars up ahead of us on the crazy train. When she was in seventh grade, the girl's uh, school urged the girl to see psychologist Dr. Wallace Wong, who recommended the girl should begin taking cross-sex hormones at 13. Hmm, maybe there's a reason for that. Did you ever care to look into why that doctor may have made that decision? Not that it's any of your business, because this is between a patient and a doctor. Hoogland cited his daughter's alleged history of mental health issues and refused to give permission. Doctors at death. Do you think that maybe the mental health issues could be caused by something that the doctor is trying to fix using literal science? The BC Children's Hospital decided that the girl should receive testosterone injections. And, um, and now, fast forward a little bit, legally, he's not even allowed to refer to his, his own daughter as a daughter as a girl. He's arrested for that. No, he was arrested for fucking going on, literally for doing multiple violations of the court, including going on an interview where he gave away the names of the doctors that his child was being seen at. Do, it, does this, are, are you just going to, like, I mean, this is the thing. This is what they do. They lie. They just endlessly lie. They can't stop lying. Like, you can't even... You can't even engage with criticism of these types of people because they lie about everything. I wouldn't be surprised if they just made up a story from the bottom up. But in this case, there's a small, small actual thing that happened and they turn it into their own deranged nightmare. And if you're living See you soon, Undercat. south of the Canadian border, you're living in America and you think, they're crazy up there. That's never going to happen here. Oh, it'll happen here. That this this is good. Yes, it should happen here. If your if your fucking dad puts your family in danger by repeat and your doctors in danger by repeatedly violating your privacy to try and get clicks on the internet, yes, that should happen. You should get to go to jail for a couple days. You fucking piece of shit. I welcome it. I can't wait. And guess what? I'm Oh, ooh, ooh, you're making me rethink my prison abolition positions because I'm starting to think people like you should be motherfucking locked up. Happening here. This will happen. I'm sorry. I'm They've sorry. already laid. I lost my cool. The groundwork for it. Lay the groundwork first through the rejection of biological science, the rejection of. Wrong! There is no rejection of biological science, whatever the fuck that means. Doctors disagree with you. Scientists disagree with you. There is consensus that disagrees with you. You are too in your feelings to actually acknowledge reality, which is that you don't actually know what you're fucking talking about. You and your stupid snowflake feelings don't know fucking jack shit what you're talking about. Objective more, uh, reality and morality. And then by saying that it's, you know, it's, it's hateful to use biologically correct pronouns when referring to someone. Biologically correct pronouns? I'm sorry. Where in your motherfucking DNA are the pronouns written? You moron. You absolute idiot. I'm sorry. Can I see? Can you? Please make sure that you display your fucking genetic makeup on the screen so I can use your biologically correct pronouns. Because for all I know, you might be XXY and uh-oh, uh-oh, oh shit, which pronouns am I supposed to use then, dude? It's an act of hate.
Well, if that's the case, then it's 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 only so long before they say, well, there need to be laws in place to protect, you know, gender confused people from hearing the correct biological pronoun. The child was clearly not gender confused. The child knew and clearly understood what gender he wants to be. You are the confused one. You are the confused one, Matt Walsh. You. And this, this again shows why it is so important for us to, to not go along with this. It is not a small issue. Yes, you. it is such a small issue that you literally had to lie about everything in order to even make it an issue. You embarrassment. You shame. You blight on our country. The gender stuff in general, as you know, I believe and have always said, not at all a small issue. This is a central issue in the You're culture. You're an idiot. Uh, but uh, the pronoun piece of that, it's very, very important. Remember how they talk about how like trans people are obsessed with pronouns? Who's really obsessed with pronouns? It's this, it's this fucking shitty cowlick motherfucker. That is a hill worth dying on. And you don't even have to die because I've been fighting on that hill for a long time and I'm still kicking. You don't sound like it. You sound like you're about to fucking pass out. But that's a hill worth defending. Once you go along with that, it's over. And there are more and more, again, more it's and more over? people on the right who, who even, you know, suppose right-wing media publications, you see this more and more that start using the preferred pronouns in their articles and that sort of thing. This, this is a matter of reality. I'm not going to go along with a lie. I won't do it. Oh, oh, if I have to use pronouns differently for someone, I'm going to die. It's over. These are the people that want you that, that these are the right wingers that want to push for a more authoritarian government. These are the fucking white supremacists crying, literally crying with tears in their eyes. Oh, it's over. It's a hill worth dying on. I'm so brave. Fucking fucking absolute oh my god literal snowflake bullshit i can't you're such a hero matt morally i can't that's the stance we all have to take it's not you're not trying to hurt anyone's feelings i can't uh, everybody i i just want to let you know i'm very very energized by this fight it's a hill that i'm gonna die on uh the battle of uh, the battle of pronouns. Um, just want to tell you, I'm really, you know, it's very serious. Once that falls, everything will fall, and uh, we wouldn't we wouldn't want that to happen. Please make sure to subscribe to my Substack, my Bit Shoot. Uh, that'd be great. I'll, I'm gonna go take a nap now. You're not being aggressive about it. No, something is being demanded of you. You're not doing this. I'm not doing it. I didn't choose to have this discussion. I'm, I'm. Dude, the, the dad, dude, the fucking dad literally went on an interview and exposed his child's doctors. Literally exposed after being ordered by a court not to because he's a fucking, fucking asshole. What do you mean? You, what, that is aggressive. That's definitively aggressive. Going about my life, going about my day, using correct, normal language. And now I'm being told that I have to use language that does not signify what I'm actually trying to convey. So something is being asked of me that is unreasonable. All I'm doing is saying, no, I can't go along with that unreasonable demand. Literally, literally. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I'm making. I'm making my stand. I refuse. I. Ref, I refuse to. Uh. I. I refuse to stand for this. Uh. Uh. But. But. Um. You know, when it's time for us to cough up another three hundred and ninety-eight billion dollars for the American war machine. I'm totally down for that.
What a fucking idiot. What a fucking idiot. You know, one idiot. of the great things about working... Let's see what else this guy's got. Let's see what else this guy's got. Oh! Oh, he's got more trans stuff! Oh, he's really mad about the trans people. He's really fucking mad about trans people. Holy shit, he's so fucking mad. Half of his shit is about trans people. So that's just the new thing, huh? They're just gonna talk about trans people? Today, very exciting, we're let's going see. to- Let's watch his- Let's watch this guy have a fucking- Let's- Let's watch this guy- Honestly, let's be real. Let's watch this guy fall asleep while he desperately tries to get people angry about non-binary people. Let's find out. Read and review some more woke children's literature. Uh, we know that there are many books out there seeking to brainwash our kids. If you go into a children's section at Barnes & Noble, Right now, it, it, it feels like you're being handed pamphlets at an Antifa rally or something. It's nothing but... Oh, good one, dude! Oh, Barnes & Noble, the Christian-owned bookstore that offers Christian propaganda on literally every shelf because they are a Christian-owned bookstore. Lamau! <laughs> yeah, it's like an Antifa rally. Left-wing extremism everywhere. And that is certainly the case for um, this book, which is It Feels Good to Be Yourself. <gasps> He's literally shitting his pants over children's books. This is what conservatives have. They have nothing. They're a grown man screeching about one children's book. One children's book. And he's losing his motherfucking shit. It's an Antifa rally. I went to the store and I saw a children's book I didn't like. And I nearly had a panic attack. Written These by uh, Teresa Thorne, illustrated by Noah Grigini. And we're just going to read it. We're going to we're going to find out what kind of brainwashing is going on in this book. I feel I I I can't even believe this. Like it's going to be pretty intense. All right. It begins. This is Ruthie. Now you Yo! notice from the very beginning. What? That... You're pausing it more than I am. Dude, he's what? He's he's pausing. He's pulling a I've what? He paused it faster than I paused his video. Three words the politically correct assortment of people all over this page. Listen, so listen. I've been called a glorified React streamer, but that, now, listen, that was ridiculous. I waited at least, what, 20 seconds? He read three letters. They've got, they've got all the different races and ethnicities. Not a lot of white. One, two, three, possibly four, five, six white kids. Kids. I mean, the one white kid, there's got the white girl there, but she has... Wait, is he just, is he just stupid? Is he just stupid? Does he think his audience is stupid? Well, his audience is stupid. Let's be Blue clear. hair. You're allowed to be white, but you have to dye your hair. You have to compensate by dyeing your hair pink or blue. Then we've got uh, the child walking down, playing a, an acoustic guitar. Ah! Oh, oh my God. He's got a gun. Why not? There's even um, an equitable and diverse assortment of modes of transportation. So there's the bus, the car, and for some reason, a unicycle. Because what, when do you? Is this real? Is this real? Oh no, they've even got diversity in their, in their vehicles, a unicycle. Oh! It's, I mean, we all see that, right? You're driving down the road, a residential neighborhood, and there's just a girl on a unicycle. Uh, in the in in the in the the bike lane, dude. Not in your neighborhood because you probably live in some weird fucking like the villages with like a gated neighborhood where there's like 400 fucking feet between every single house. And if you if you walk outside at night, your neighbor accidentally shoots you because they think that you're a, you're a fucking immigrant invading the country. She's a transgender girl. That means when she was born, everyone thought she was a boy until she grew a little older. Old enough to tell everyone that she's actually a girl. Cool. Everyone Yo, cool. Was Ruthie, Pog, Ruthie, we fucking love Ruthie in this chat, don't we? Chat, give me some fucking based Ruthies. Come on. Right. Everyone was right, right the first time. Why? This is left out. Why did they think? I mean, these, these, these backwards Neanderthals, as Joe Biden would call them. Why did they? Excuse me? think that, uh, quote, she was a boy. Well, because they made observations 
about her biological nature. They made scientific observations and no, they didn't. That's, do you know, you know what scientific observation it is? They pick the baby up and they go, oh, a penis, a penis there. That mean boy, that mean like gun and car. That's how they came to the, the correct conclusion that he is actually a boy. They leave that out of the book. Girl is Ruthie's gender identity. And we have to remember, gen it's okay, Lady Kelgana. It's okay if you can't hand if you if you're not down for it. I'm gonna keep screaming at this motherfucking idiot. Gender identity is a, a fake concept, and I always have to remind you if you didn't know this. I think it's really important for people to understand where these ideas came from. Every time you hear Good gender night, identity, Lady remember, fake concept invented not just in, an invented concept or a concept invented generally by the left. It's a concept pushed by the left, but it was invented originally by a guy named John Money, and he was the pedophilic. Um, it's an invented idea M my dude all ideas are invented and no John Money did not invent the concept of gender identity no he fucking didn't the concept of gender identity has been talked about by many people now did jo John Money write about gender identity yes insane lunatic back in the mid 20th century which you would have supported people like you would have supported people like him who ran sexual experiments on children which you would have supported including two uh brothers twin twin boys forcibly d performing essentially a, a forcible sex change on one of them and later both boys would go on to kill themselves that's where it comes from nothing They were intersex, you fucking idiot. They do what you, they did what you recommended. They do what you recommend now, you fucking idiot. But misery and despair Dishonest and horror. piece of shit. This is Ruthie's brother, Xavier. Xavier is a cisgender boy. That means when Xavier was born, everyone thought he was a boy. And as he grew older, turned out everyone was right. He is a boy. Boy is Xavier's gender identity. No, boy is his biological sex. No, it isn't. Last time, last I checked, boy is a term for gender. There is no biological boy. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Does Matt, wait, wait a second. Does, does Matt Walsh think that there's no such thing as a difference between a boy and a man? Like those words are no difference. He thinks boy is a sex. Oh my God. Well, you know, yeah. I mean, I guess it would make sense for somebody who looks like Matt Walsh to think about boy and sex in the same sentence. Gender identity, not a thing. Biological sex is a thing. That's what it is. There are so many different ways to be a boy or a girl. Too many to fit in a book. But not everyone feels like either a boy or a girl. Non-binary is a helpful word that can describe a kid who doesn't feel exactly like a boy or a girl. True! Based, fucking based kids book. This kids book is awesome. So you notice again, the PC utopia on this page. You've got a bearded woman walking a dog with her lesbian lover. Then you've got a cross-dressing boy. Excuse me? You don't know who those people are. Fuck you. Boy playing the trumpet, why not? And then we've, of course, we've got the two, the two gay men uh, pushing a stroller, one wearing a t-shirt that says number one dad. So if you're not getting the message yet, if it's not being, if you're having- Yeah, the message is that people unlike you can be happy that's the message that instead of living in a fucking hollow fucking troll cave like yourself people can actually be happy and live their lives instead of fucking dropping like six zannies and turning on your camera so that you can forget the pain of you just drudging out the most dr the most fucking reach content you could possibly imagine. Oh, this is brainwashing children. I found a children's book and oh, it's brainwashing. Please, please let me die. Please release me. Over the head with the message enough yet. This hopefully will get the, the point across. Um, but the real irony here is they say there are so many different ways to be a boy or a girl, right? Too, too many ways to fit in a book. Well, that's, that's correct but they are making it so that there are not so many ways to be our boy or. 
What? Moon logic? Or a girl. Well, actually, um, being, being able to be trans means you don't have any options at all. Because if you get trans, then you become bad. It's bad. They are the one gender identity. Left-wing gender theory. This is the rigid They are the one gender identity. Leftist gender theory. Restricting thing that confines boys and girls. Because it used to be that you could be a girl and still wear short hair if you want. And how many times do you think that... My, how, many, how many times do you think that Matt Walsh in his life has used slurs against women with short hair. How many, you know, I'm just going to hazard a guess. I'm going to guess it's somewhere in the hundreds. It's maybe in the thousands. I'm just going to say, just going to say, I bet we could find a video on his channel of him doing that. And play rough and tumble sports. And play with play. You people don't even, you, people like you literally argued against the creation of women's sports. You Oh my God. In the mud with toy trucks. And we would call you a tomboy. And we would say, that's a valid way. Yep. Yes, gay fesh. You're right. Yep. Way to be a girl. That's fine. If you want to be a girl that way, you could be a girl that way. But now we've taken that away from girls and we've said, well, if you act like that, you're probably a boy. So in the name of opening every. That's not what happens. Everything up and being open-minded we've actually constricted by the way for those who don't know i know a lot of you here are just going to be enjoying me screaming the fuck at matt walsh but that's not what happens at all literally there is no person on the entire planet there is not a single person not a single doctor on the entire planet who will take a, a girl child who d is a tomboy and go we're gonna trans you now that will that literally has never happened not once never there is no it just does not happen. But what can happen is a girl child goes in and talks and has like severe mental mental issues. They're depressed. They're, they hate their body. They have problems. They talk to a doctor. The doctor says, hey, what's going on? And they say, I feel wrong in my body. I feel like my body doesn't fit me well. This isn't going well for me. I wish I was a boy. And the doctor goes, we might need to look a little deeper into this. And then the doctor will ask them lots of questions, often refer them to another doctor. That doctor will ask them lots of questions. And maybe after all the questions have been asked, they might prescribe them something for it. But these snowflake trans, like, like trans panicky motherfuckers literally don't know shit about the process. And so what they think is they think there's a fucking factory attached to every single school where where little girls walk in and then a giant needle goes into their eyeball and injects them and just turns and they come out on the other end a full grown man. They come out with a beard bigger than Matt Walsh. They walk out with a fucking, fucking Mark's beard. And that's every school all over the leftist states of America. In, in, in fucking Canada, there is no girls allowed. You, little girls girl goes into school you go into the factory you get that testosterone injection in your eyeball and you come out looking like fucking chad ass carl marx did it think of the children and made it so that there is one particular way to be a boy or a girl and if you go outside of that then you become the other gender or other sex rather yeah we should Alec look into that cat in the chat you're right you know what let's find out if this guy ever did a video on harry styles wouldn't that be a real turnaround wouldn't that be interesting i bet we could Ooh, that would be super interesting wouldn't it Alex is both a boy and a girl no he's not when alex was born and everyone thought alex was a girl but alex is both a boy and a girl this is alex's gender identity no this is insane nonsense no it isn't you're you are you are literally struggling with basic concepts right now you are actually incapable of understanding simple concepts that even children can understand the fact that this is a children's book shows that even children can understand this, but you're actually struggling with it. Is what this is. This is Alex's friend, JJ. JJ is neither a boy nor a girl. Ever since JJ was very little, they never felt exactly like a boy or a girl. They just felt like themselves. What does that mean exactly? They oh no, Matt Walsh having a moment. What does that mean? Self? self what is self what is am i who 
who, who, who am I? What am I? What am I doing? And then all of a sudden somebody comes in and injects him with another fucking syringe of literal heroin. And he's just like, oh, anyway, what was I saying? Ever felt like a boy or a girl? How does he know what a boy or a girl feels like? What are you comparing it to? How do you know that your feelings are not what a boy feels like? Uh-oh. Matt. Oh, shit. Egg cracking noises. Oh, oh, shit. Matt. Matt Walsh on the edge of a motherfucking gender identity crisis. Whoa. How do you know that? Because you've never been the other thing. So you have nothing to compare Wait to. Wait a minute. You this agree? One... You agree that they've never been the other thing? Oh, shit. He's getting it. One of the logical problems that... I, I'm thinking we'll probably not be addressed in this oh, book, but I could page. be wrong. He's fucked. Alex and JJ are both non-binary. Just like there are many different ways to be a boy and a girl, there are many different ways to be non-binary. Too many to fit in a book. And even with all these possible ways to be, some kids don't feel any of the words they know fit them exactly right. There are a never-ending number of ways to be yourself True, in the there are! These are ways to be confused. What we're talking about here... You're the only one confused here, Matt! You're struggling with this. You are the only one who's struggling with this. The children understand. The writers of the book understand. Everybody watching your video understands. You're the confused one. You are a confused, sad, addled old man ro roaming around in a world that you can refuse to understand because of your own stubbornness. That is the only person confused here. You. Wake up. Wake up, Matt. Wake up are not ways for kids to be themselves, but the opposite of that. And these are ways for kids to be confused about themselves. This is not an identity. Non-binary is not an identity. It's an anti-identity. It is, it is a person refusing. What? Once again, I am here to tell you, I am the anti-identity. Non-binary demon mama has come to destroy identity altogether you cannot resist resistance is futile using to accept who they are it's a rejection of identity it's not the acceptance it's the rejection of identity this is someone if who you say it twice it's better who either is refusing to accept who they are or or, or if it's True, a child who's been brainwashed into this this is a child who's never been made to understand who he is this is the deprivation of identity. Whether you feel like a boy. Are the steroids okay? No, they're not okay. A girl, both or neither, or if you describe yourself another way, that is your gender identity. Your gender identity might match what people thought you were when you were born, or it I don't might know if I not. can, though. What is it? See, when you were born, you couldn't tell people who you were or how you felt. They looked at you and made a guess. Maybe they got it right. Maybe they got it wrong. Damn, this book is pog as shit. This book is actually awesome. What a baby's body looks like when they're born can be a clue to what the baby's gender will be, but not always. No, see, it's not that as a baby, you couldn't tell people who you were. It's that you, you didn't know who you were because you were a baby. And as a... What? Baby, you don't know anything. Babies don't understand. Well, Matt, looks like nothing has changed for you. And anything about the world. Least of all, do they understand what a boy or a girl is? So what I can say from my experience, looking down at a, at a cute little three-month-old baby. Boop, 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 boop. Bazinga, bazing, 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 bazinga. Uh, if you're wondering... What is their, what, how do they feel about their gender? What, what are they thinking about their own gender? They're not thinking about it at all. What they're thinking about is- But they Matt Walsh is, whoa! They get fed, uh, they have to poop, they want to take a nap. Those are all the things they're thinking about and really nothing else. They have no concept of their own quote gender because they're babies. This is something that children, they have to be educated about this. And that's why when you get to a four-year-old who says, oh, I'm not a boy, I'm actually a girl. They have to be educated about this. He's literally saying you have to indoctrinate them because children, because 
gender is not coded into them. He's literally contradicting himself right now from what he was saying five seconds ago. And people who watch this video just go, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. He's literally contradicting what he said five fucking seconds ago. Five seconds ago. But one of the ways that we know that that's not true, aside from the fact that it simply doesn't make sense, is that they don't know what they're talking about. That boy doesn't know you what You don't know is. what you're talking about. And that's Are you a baby? Seems like a pretty significant problem. When someone, someone is making a declaration about who they are and, and, and they don't know. When people guess wrong, it's okay to let them know. Ruthie was five when she told her parents. And the little speech bubble says, I know you think I'm a boy, but really I feel like a girl. Oops, Ruthie was a girl all along. They just didn't know it at first. And so the, the family quickly accepts it. This is what the left wants you to do. You're fine. Yes. The left wants you to love your children and support them. True. I know that's not what you want to do to your children, Matt Walsh. But the left would really prefer if you would support and take care of your children. Five-year-old. How old is this kid? Five year, your five-year-old comes up to you and says, hey, um, uh, I know you think I'm a boy, but it actually turns out I'm a girl. And they want you to say on the spot, well, okay then, you're a girl. Sick. No questions asked. Sick. We're Sounds not going to even ask the follow-up question of, what do you mean by that? Yep. Child. You say that you're a girl. What do you mean? That seems like a pretty important follow-up, doesn't it? Anytime your child is saying anything to you, you should try to understand what they mean. Dad, I'm hungry. Why? Why should you be fed, child? Why? Dad, I'm, I'm, I'm scared of the monster of the monster in the closet. Child, don't be scared. That's just your Uncle Touchy. Don't worry. Why would you be scared of him? And it's not always clear what they mean because they don't have the words to express. They, they understand very little about the world. They understand very little about, about themselves and what they want and what's best for them. And so they don't have the words to express. That's why kids do, do a not, lot yes. of- Yeah, they do not understand the function of the can opener. Screaming and crying and they throw temper tantrums because they can't express what they actually want. And that's why it's really important. Even when your kid is clear and says, I want this. Even when your kid is screaming and crying in agony, you should keep impressing on them what you think is right. It's important for you as the adult in the situation to understand why they're actually saying that. That to me seems like an important follow-up. I'm a girl. What do you mean? What do you mean you're a girl? Ask that question and what you're going to find out is what the boy is actually saying is that he wants to wear a pink shirt because he thinks pink is a pretty color. Fine. And what if it's not that? What if it's not just about a pink shirt? What if they have genuine concerns? What if they're like me? And they were scared about what puberty might do to them. What if puberty starts coming and it feels really fucking horrible? What then? You don't have an answer for that because this is fucking literally thought terminating. You just automatically decide that because in your fantasy, in your weird, deluded, fever dream fantasy... There is factories of, 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 there are facilities of doctors that just insta-trans children instead of asking those questions. And you would prefer that parents just stop their kids from ever actually pursuing self-realization. And that's because you're an idiot. Wear the pink shirt. You're still not a girl, though. When people guess right, it's also okay to let them know. Xavier was three and a half. I mean, I, I should have just let it play for one more second because he let it go out right there. There's no answer that your children's opinion don't matter to this person. This person is a, a fucking family authoritarian. This guy would fucking press to, this, this guy would probably force his kids to fucking work at a factory if he could. When he All told right, his family. What is I'm this? What have you gotten me? What is this? Oh boy. What have I, what have I gotten here? I've been destroyed. I've been divorced four times, but homosexuals are destroying marriage. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, you fucking loser. You fucking idiot. Wow. Oh, it's so perfect. You just can't, you just can't make this shit up, can you? <laughs> Women keep leaving me because I'm a boring piece of shit who can't last in bed for more than 15 seconds. But it's, it's the gaze. It's because of the gaze. I'm a boy. I like being a boy. Yes, yeah, so I'll never forget the day that my child announced to me that he is himself. Dad, turns out I'm myself. Whew. Good, I, was, I wasn't sure. Your feelings about your gender. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, I don't know gender what that are is. are real. I'll Listen to your out. heart. No matter yeah. what your gender identity I'm, I'm is, you're right okay now. exactly the way you are. Follow and the you ukulele. Love. It feels good to be yourself, doesn't it? Yeah, your feelings about your gender are real. But that doesn't mean that they reflect reality. Okay, that's the distinction that so many people struggle with. Your feelings are real. You really do feel this way. But that doesn't mean that it is an accurate reflection of what is. None of that makes any sense. That is all vague nonsense. That's the point. And that is what is not covered in this book and what I wouldn't expect to be covered because you all you did here is indoctrination and brainwashing. You didn't finish the and book, And that's why this book and so many books like it are poison. What I would say is... P poison? Oh my God. This guy is literally... This guy is the definition of a conservative snowflake. Doesn't even finish the book. Calls the book poison. A, 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 a book that lovingly tries to explain how gender identity works, but his brain, his brain is so fucking small and crusty that he literally can't understand it. His skull goes all the way into his head and in the middle there's a tiny peanut and he's like, oh, I don't get it. Oh, I'm he not... finished early again. You think maybe that contributed to his divorces? Whoa! I'm not into banning books. I'm not into burning books. But if we're going to ban and cancel books, how about a book like this and not Dr. Seuss? <laughs> this guy's is so fucking stupid. You had to throw in the Dr. Seuss. You... Oh my God. Dr. Seuss wasn't banned. Dr. Seuss, the company that runs the Dr. Seuss books, decided to stop printing extremely racist books that Dr. Seuss disavowed. They weren't banned. You can't even tell the truth. Oh my God, this guy is such a dumb fuck. Holy shit, this guy is a dumb fuck. Fucking Daily Wire. Oh my, oh my God, I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> I'm losing it, Chad. <laughs>